Hello and welcome. As you can see, I'm talking today from my webcam that I have working on my Linux box. Webcams fall under the category of hardware with suboptimal driver support for Linux, just like wireless cards. This week I'm going to be showing you how you can get your webcam working under Linux using a great project called GSPCA. Let's get started. The first step is to download the necessary source packages. Lately I've been getting really sick of loading web graphics, so we'll just use wget to download these packages. Feel free to pause the video if you need to copy these lines into your terminal. This is the main GSPCA package. And we're also going to be downloading the V4L video capture program that GSPCA produces as well, and that's this file. It is worth noting that GSPCA currently supports only version 1 of the Video for Linux architecture, even though it is deprecated within the latest kernel tree. Video for Linux version 2 support is in the works, but it is not yet in a usable condition for regular users. The build process for GSPCA is mercifully short. All we need to do is untar these two packages, which we'll do with a simple shell script. And then we're going to navigate to the GSPCA directory. And now the only thing we need to do is just become root and run this great little program called GSPCA build. This program does everything for you. It cleans the source tree, compiles the module against your currently running kernel version, provided you have the kernel source installed, of course, and installs the module in the proper place. If only it was always this easy. And that's it. Thank you, GSPCA. Once the module has been installed, we should be able to simply plug our webcam in and the module should load automatically. A look at lsmod will confirm this. As you can see, all the relevant kernel modules have been successfully loaded. The only reason this would not work for you is if your webcam is not supported by the project. The URL to the compatibility chart for this project is on the screen. We are now going to build the SPCA viewer tool. This is also very easy, although you will need libsdl. This should be available in your package repository if you don't have it already. We simply need to change to the SPCA viewer directory. And once we're here, all we need to do is run make. Since this is mostly a testing tool, we will not bother installing it, and we will just run it in place. Let's try it out and see what happens. Well, here I am again, so it appears to have worked. Uh, this program is actually really nifty. It does a lot of nice things. Uh, in this lower left-hand corner here, we have a control panel where you can control the brightness of the picture and the contrast of the picture. And it uh, also has controls for the formatting and the encoding. It allows you to take still frame pictures. It allows you to take movies. You can pause the picture. Uh, if that's something that you want to do. Uh, it's a really nice tool for testing. Uh, one thing it does not do is actually control the, uh, the contrast and the balance at the driver level. So I'll show you now how you can do that. So you can adjust your levels for programs that don't necessarily have these sort of controls built into them, for instance Skype. Buried deep within the kernel system directory are controls for the color balance of the GSPCA driver. We need to go to slash sys slash module slash GSPCA slash parameters. 
Here we have the virtual files that control different aspects of the camera operation. The G green, G red, and G blue files contain information about the color balance. If we move them the same amount at the same time, the balance will stay the same, but the brightness will increase or decrease. The default setting for all are 256. Let's, for instance, see what happens if we set them to 125. Note that these settings control operations at the driver level and only the super user may change them. And now let's see what happens if we set them all at 450.